This is Anna Clark. You can find me at Facebook, um, www.facebook.com slash Apostle Anna Clark. And um, you spell that A-N-N-A-C-L-A-R-K. And I should have a, a link on my page. Now, I'm sorry I have not uploaded in a long time. I have a lot of prophetic words written, and a lot of times I am on Facebook daily, and I might put something up there or, you know, um, they're in my notes section. They might be on my Facebook page. Um, but you can find me and email me even at the www.facebook.com slash apostle Anna Clark. Okay. Now, I'm going to... God has been telling me to upload these words that I have to YouTube. He says, you know, get these out there to YouTube. Now, I was sleeping, and he woke me up with um, YouTube. <laughs> upload more videos. Upload more words. And then I heard the song, um, you know, that song that goes, where where the guy's singing more 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 so that that song started playing in my sleep and I was like okay that's funny God has jokes but he's very serious so I need to upload these I'm going to so that was my my preface or whatever but I'm going to read a word that I received I'm going to tell you it was about let me see April 20th 2012 and this was uh, Word of the Lord, and the, I, I entitled it Joseph's Endurance, and then uh, how he becomes enriched. Okay, speaking to modern-day Joseph's. All right. Now, this is what I heard the Lord saying. <clears throat> My people were supposed to be people of honor and fame, but the devil has tricked them. And I can't stand it anymore, so I send you, and a few others too, who see through, and not just these, name it, claim it. For I have not claimed the status of their mind as able yet or at all. So they disqualify self. My ways of stature or standing, their upholding of foul things and beliefs. I can't entrust to them. I can't have it. They aren't aware of deeper of a deeper purpose. Um, wait, this just reminds me. If you try to find T D Jakes just had on um, TV the other day. A message called Serving a Higher Purpose. And I was so excited through the whole thing. I had to replay it and replay it because I was like, yes, that's what God's saying right now. You know, everyone doesn't have to say, thus saith the Lord. But you just speak what you know that God is saying for, for, for the body of Christ for right now. And I was so excited because that message that he just gave backs up and confirms, you know, this is what God's saying right now. Okay. A lot of people see the fame and the glamour and all the stuff. And look, when your name is out there, money can come because more people are looking at you. But why does God want to give you honor when your heart's not in the right place? The thing is, a lot of people, you, you'd you say, what would you do with this amount of money? Oh, they would dream up um, something very selfish, something that does not multiply dollars, something that is... Maybe um, it kind of helps, but it does not bring a cash flow. Something, or 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 you say, if you had um, fame, what would you do? And they would, they might think of something selfish. You see what I'm saying? So God doesn't want to give you wealth. God doesn't want to give you honor. God doesn't want to give you fame, and recognition, and influence, and ability to influence a greater sphere than what you have currently right now. God does not want to give that when you don't really want to serve a higher purpose. Now, I, I wanted to say he doesn't want to give that if you don't want to know him and then be real close to him and listen to him, but the truth is God puts up and God puts down. He sets up kings and he sets down kings. There's many people out there that are 
up and in honor of a lot of people's minds, you know, they're honored by a lot of people, they're loved by a lot of people, whether they're right or wrong and whatever they stand for, but God allows it. You also have to understand that, but you know what? A lot of these people that are up with honor serve a higher purpose. They want to help people. They want to make people laugh. They want, If they're an entertainer, maybe they want to make people smile. Maybe they saw the power of cheering somebody up instead of, you know, them feeling so down. Like Steve Harvey said, he when he saw that he could make his mom laugh, that made him think, wow, how powerful that is to make somebody laugh that was so down just a few minutes ago. And um, anyway, why does God want to give great things to, to to his children he he would want to give it well, I didn't say that right God wants to give to his children honor and fame He look in the Old Testament and he said if you love me you obey you follow this 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 is this you know um, walk with me and then I will bring you into a land I'll bring you honor I'm I'm going to bring wealth to you you're going to go in and you're going to take things and you're going to go in and you're going to you're going to um, own. And the, why Why did he want to give so much? Maybe because when the righteous rule, the people are happy. So if God wants to, um, hmm, well, I think you get it. So anyway, there's there's people in the body of Christ. There's Joseph. There's people that have been in the pit. They've been in a test for a long time. And you know that you've been in position. You've been in position. You've been in alignment. But the problem is all these Things are coming at you, but that time is ending for a lot of people. A lot of us are Josephs that are in the pit, and you know where you're going. You know you're going up. You're about to get honor, but why? Because God saw you as someone that's wise and faithful, and also you wanted God. You loved to grow in God, and um, you just endured in the pit. And so he's going to bring you honor because you also had experience with lack, probably. You've had experience with maybe sickness and even unexplained sickness when you're in the pit. That's spiritual warfare. When it's unexplained sickness, it's looking like a sickness, but the doctor can't tell you why you're having this and that because all the tests don't prove that you have anything wrong. Then it's spiritual warfare. So what God wants to do is... He's bringing, he's actually now, for years I've been saying he's bringing us out, but it's it's now he's bringing us out and he's going to allow honor. And it's because you want to reach people because you've been in the hard places where people have been. And so, so when you see some Josephs up and they look like they got nice clothes and it looks like people are coming at them and they just are honoring them and they're just like, wow, they want to shake their hand or... I don't know. It's just God is just placing them because they were faithful in the small small place and even in the storm. They stuck with God. They didn't have a perfect attitude, but they endured. And so God is going to bless them because they also, in your trials, you also, if you'll stick with God, he can also teach you they have compassion for people when you see them with their sickness it's unexplained and their lack or whatever like that you know and when you're a Joseph the honor comes the money can come because of the people and um, and you're and you could be someone not even asking for the money see these Josephs that are rising are not manipulators they're not hirelings that are trying to steal from the body of Christ making merchandise of the people they are just like they're 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 just people that love God and they want to walk with God and and they care for people. And as you get the Father's heart more and more, God can entrust, like, power in your hand. He can entrust more anointing in your hand. He can entrust miracles in your hand and healing in your hand because you have raised your... You have not lived on a low vibration energy, which is low emotions that are destructive, but instead you're more in the joy of the Lord. And people, you know what? People can't understand why you still have God's joy when when things are hard. Um, like I don't know. I I sometimes I think people are too serious, but um, you know, I just think that um, a lot of these Joseph they still kept their joy in God and their trust in God, even though they were in the pit. They endured. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to reading what I was supposed to read because God told me to. Okay. Okay. So let me go back to read. 
about the Josephs in the pit, okay? And they endured, so um, they will be enriched. So, I'm so sorry, I just got all off in that thing. But if you can, go look for T.D. Jakes. Um, sermon that was called Serving a Higher Purpose. It's so powerful because I'm telling you, he said it too, and I've been saying this for weeks. Even if you're a secular rapper, artist, or whatever, I don't care if it's like um, just something that's like instrumentals or I don't know what, but there's different people that God is going to raise up right now, and he's bringing connections, kingdom connections, divine connections, even connections with stars so that you can get mentored. I mean, some of you, not all, but some he'll just have you just all of a sudden recognition will come to you. But you know that you've been in the pit for a long time and you've been on assignment. You've been on your assignment and on your post and maybe you've been hidden and it's been for a long time and you don't even look like anything special to everybody else around you. They're probably looking at you like, why can't you get yourself together? Why don't you do what we're doing? Why don't you do this or that? But no, you're right where God told you and that's what matters. Are you where God told you? That's what matters, not how much you have in your hand and if you fit the status quo and if you're where they say you need to be at this time in your life. The question is, are you where God told you to be? Okay, because if you don't obey that, then you really forfeit a lot of good things and a lot of things will remain hidden from you. He won't show you a lot of things that should come to you or could come to a son in God, regardless of gender, he won't show you that when you're out of alignment. So anyway, blah, now I'm going to read this because I know I get too wild. But um, he said, my people are supposed to be people of honor and fame, but the devil has tricked them and I can't stand it anymore. So I send you and a few others too. So he's saying that to, to me and then and to some others, and you know who you are, you, you see through, and not just these name it, claim it, for I have not claimed the status of their mind as able yet or at all. So they disqualify self, my ways of stature and standing. They don't do that. They're upholding of foul things and beliefs. I can't entrust to them. I can't have it. They aren't aware of a deeper purpose my purpose for such things composition positions and grace as an empowerment tool i call you to teach wealth to a people okay he's telling me this to teach wealth to a people you've known lack far too long and tithes that go to a church should have went into your pocket uh oh but i call it dust and i and i rise a people ready for battle empowerment and the people of wealth, some can come with you, who I trust and highlight to your mind. Now, this is speaking to Joseph. This is not just me. This, there's other Josephs that have been in a pit and preparation for years. And that's why you've been struggling. But you've been on your post and on your assignment. And he says, who can I find like rare jewels to entrust riches? The kings of the earth have spoiled it, or drawn so, or such, for self, in self-adjustments, but not for people, and all my purposes, or all my purpose, can I entrust you? Yes, I've seen your work, even for not pay, so I give you more. He's speaking to Joseph. So happy are those who trust in their Lord God, for he is a merciful, gracious God, and he will make you rich if you endure on mountaintops and in the valleys. Who is for me? Can I tell? Yes. And you will know by my adjustments made in their life. He's speaking of riches and increase or increase of influence, which can, which is honor, which can bring money because the fish come with coins in their mouth. Now, he says, these ones I, I hindered for a time, but no more. Can you adjust? Yes, I hold you, and more will come, for you have endured a battle, even on your body, and you trusted me all the way. Say, Job. Yes, Job. Job 
did my job, and this is how and why he was increased. Even so, my dear, it's here. Say Abba, and it is done. My Lord hath enriched me, you'll say, and I keep the scavengers at bay, and you will be your brother's and sister's keeper as I instruct. And all who you truly helped will see a gain, and I defend the poor now through you. Thank God. God says, Tell my Josephs to rise and to distribute only as I call for every ring, text, message, letter is not of me calling. You have to get that. You only distribute and give as he tells you. Not because their story is moving or anything like that. Actually, Joseph, I think that you're seers by now, so you can sense and see through and understand mindsets and motives, and you can tell when someone is speaking out of a real need or if someone has a... Um, or if maybe they need, but God is telling you no, because he's going he's gonna to have them work their faith or something like that. So you will only give out of your abundance, as he says, and only the quantity that he says. And you'll only give them the time or the treasure or the, or the help that he says. Just everything you do, you, God has trained you to only move by him. So we want to stay where we're just following the Spirit. We don't follow a, um, some rules, some one-size-fits-all rules, like, oh, if they come and they say this, then I know that they're true. Or I don't know. You know, you know how you just have to learn? You don't, you don't um, just follow some kind of rule or, or uh, protocol. You don't do that. It's important to follow the Spirit because God knows what's needed, and He knows what He's doing. And Joseph, you already know everything I'm saying right now. All I'm doing is confirming you because you have an ear to hear. Um, he says, so you only, you, you only distribute, only as I call. For every ring or text message or letter is not of me calling. When you give to the least of these is as giving to me, but not all am I calling through. You must know. And they're going to say this, Joseph, give us, give us, give us, you know, give to us, they shall say. But you will, or you must say, what it is that I say, or what I have spoken, and nothing more and nothing less. So we really need to be in tune with God and, man, deliver his word. That's what God was dealing with me with. He's like, I tell you these words, but you're not telling people... <laughs> fast or on time or when I tell you and you know they need it and they and and I need to listen to that I need to say things when he wants me to say things and then and then sometimes I say things and I shouldn't say things so I need to be careful there so we need to follow what God's saying so there's the real life in Anna's in Anna's life that's how it is and um, that's what we learn about our own heart and stuff like that so say what he wants you to say. Don't say anything more. Don't say anything less. And he says, can I keep you? Yes, I sustain you. Even the lilies in the field I sustain. How much more you? Call it just. Call it pure. Call it right. When a people justified by me are called rich and endure hardships like good warring soldier, these are my remnant. And a portion of justice is theirs. Wow. Now, when he says a portion of justice is theirs, it is justice when the righteous are in a position to influence and to be sustained with so much that they can overflow out and bless others and make others thank God when God says to give it to them. Not because the greedy come, but because the needy come, and God says to give it to them. Do you understand that's so powerful? Oh, my God. I have to read it again. When a people justified, he said, wait, call it just, call it pure. 
call it right when a people justified by me are called rich and endure hardships like good warring soldier. These are my remnant and a position of justice or a portion of justice is theirs. And you know what? <laughs> a position of justice, they will also be able to serve justice because they're in position now. God sets up and he sets down and not everybody that is um that he puts in a in a reigning position or rulership or justice position is voted in by man. He doesn't need to count your tallies up. This is a God thing. This is where God has found you wise and faithful. And so um man, I'm so glad this day is here. I'm just thinking this is it. This is it. Um and he says I say this, Anna if they can beat poverty, they can have riches. Say a just. Now, Joseph, you have had, I, I'm believing that you have had um, some kind of wealth training or research, training about holding a lot of resources and um, understanding different mindsets, the poor mindset. Um, even if someone's like, uh, sometimes uh, there's, a, there's certain spirits associated with, um, when someone is uh, poor or homeless, um, the middle class, um, with the rich, with the wealthy, with the business mind, with the slave mentality, um, wage slave, there's different mindsets, okay, you know, and you're not putting anyone down, I, I'm not going to go into all of those, but I believe that God has given you some training so that you can understand mindsets, you can even maybe see um, spirits, or um, you can even see, like, colors on people. Like, um, some people call it auras. Some people call it clouds. Um, you see, you can tell by the Spirit of God where they are, maybe, um, where their mind is. What, if there's a poverty spirit that's really trying to oppress them down and keep them in a certain mindset, and that's why they're poor. So God has given you this training. And so you will also be using the skills that God has trained you, and I believe God will sharpen our skills by um, growing us and opening our eyes up more as we are ascended more and caught up more in him. You know, um, he's showing us more things. More Heaven has so much more. Okay, so he says, um, if you, Joseph, can beat po poverty, then, uh, you know, then they can have riches. But you can have riches. Okay, he says adjust. So say the word adjust right now. Okay, that's what I do, he says. Not just in you, like in me, but it also in my remnant divine, he says. Who can have or handle this? Not all of my children, for most or many of them, squander wealth. They have a consumer mentality, people. Consumer mentality. As soon as you get money, it's like it burns a hole in your pocket. You don't even put it towards your dreams. You don't even invest it in, I should buy this little tool so I can make this product. Um, oh, that was a good example. Thank you, God. Um, because you need to think like that. He wants you in a position where you are ahead, even ahead of your business, and not a tail, making a <laughs> something of yourself. Some people can't handle, so I won't say it. Um, not all of my children can handle the wealth. For most, and many of them, squander wealth. They don't even, in America, you don't realize how wealthy you are anyway. Man, I'm not even going to tell you what I've been living off of, but I see, and not even out of envy, God just opened my eyes to, wow, they blow their money, and they just, drop a hundred dollars just like this and that they got all the electronics they don't even understand the power that they have in their hand with the electronics what you can do do you understand if you have a a phone that goes online in your hand do you have a business in your hand do you realize the days you're in the privilege you have the opportunities there the doors that are open but the eyes are shut because they're looking into just selfish things and um so God will let you work harder and not smarter. He will. He will let you work harder and not smarter. And he will let you stay by all these people that keep you low with the low mindset. You know, that's the other thing. you got to let him separate you away from everybody 
at different times so that he can take you out of their kind of mindset and their controls. When God gets you away from everybody, you'll be able to see through everybody even more than ever before. You've got to get away. Get away. Like Je even Jesus knew to get away, and they weren't like, oh, you're forsaking the assembling of together. Jesus knew he can go alone and hear the Father by himself. Can you? That's what you need to do. Okay, so he says, a lot of his children squander the wealth so they can't handle it. You don't even realize what you have in your hand right now. It's so powerful. He says, um, and they try to hoard too much unto themselves. You know, the problem with the rich man was not that he was rich, but the fact was he didn't have a higher purpose for his riches. He didn't have a heart for the hurting. He, no, you don't have to give it all away, but he couldn't even give some away to some that were hurting. You could keep some so that you can keep your business going, but um, but uh, rich man, you forgot about the, the, the one that just had their... You know, they just lost their house, or they just, they just, uh, all their clothes, something happened to all their clothes, or I don't know, they need clothes, they're ripped, I don't know. Maybe they need food. He, the problem is not your money, the problem is your heart. It's the love of the money. It's not the money that's evil. It's the love of the money, and that I see a security in a certain, like, on wealthy people. I'll see in the spirit, like, they really have a certain peace and a certain joy and a certain security. And God tells us in Proverbs, um, now, a lot of pastors read this with the wrong spirit, like, you know, don't find your security in your money. Or, I don't know, but there's some verse that talks about security in the money. But he's not saying it in a, um, God's not saying things a lot of times in a demeaning way. He's saying in a way, like, please don't find your security in the money because... I want you to trust in me. I want you close to me. I want you to rely on me. You know, I. it's my good pleasure to give you these good things, but I, I wish you would open your eyes to the needs in the world. You know, be more humanitarian. God has given you a position and the leverage to do so. So that's what we need to do. Okay, God said... A lot of his people hoard too much to themselves. They don't realize what they have. He said, so I flip the script, I flip the tables, and the bar is higher in my kingdom. I will even levitate my bride to a freedom ever known. Have you ever, speaking of levitation, have you ever floated with the angels off your floor? It is, it is quite all right. You should try it sometime. Um... So he said, I will levitate my bride to a freedom never known. Who can endure? Who can handle? She can. My bride is trusted. Not all of my bride are to be or are trusted with, with these things, you see. They are only a manifestation of self and not me. Oh, my God. He says, I need people to see me and... Um, what is it? Let me see. I must have had a typo here. I'm so sorry. Okay, he said, okay. I call you up and never low again. You adjusted, even made it work. When many see you go up. Oh, he says, you adjusted. And like, oh, yeah, how you made things work. Um, you stuck it out. You endured with God. Okay. When many see you go up, they will think, not fair, it's not fair. And they're going to be envying. But you know what? Proverbs says, blessed, happy, fortunate, to be envied. So envy and persecution will come with the um, the houses and the things that come back to you because you forsook it all. You didn't chase, you even forsook it when you just didn't go chase after it. You just never had it. So um, they're going to think it's not fair. But they don't know the fire you just came through. They don't know the devils that you fought. Not these silly low demons, but you overcame that and you overcame. There are things that don't want you to have your own business, especially if you understand kingdom and you love God and you just want to share God and you want to be leveraged to a position so that you can, it's not that you need to be known, but can you leverage me into a position that I can afford to, to fund my own ministry? I don't want your money. 
I want to fund my own ministry by my own business. I don't want to take from the sheep, like Apostle Paul. I don't want to. And these Josephs, they don't want to cheat people. They want to give out. They're not hirelings. You can't hire them to give you a word. They want to give out. They want to give out. Now, if you labor in the word, you can be paid by it. But I never want to manipulate people. I never want to. I hate that. I see demons take over faces, and I hear demons in voices of those who ask for money by a manipulative spirit. There are very few ministries that ask for the money because God led them to. And when they do, the spirit is right. You need to see in the spirit and you need to hear in the spirit so you can know who and what is really talking through a lot of these leaders. Oh, my God. Okay. Because it's not time for that. It's Those things are coming down various ways, and they might have death on their households or in their family. Things might happen to their kids or their wife because you're manipulating the sheep, and God is jealous for his sheep. So don't make me start talking about that because I will get into that, and I'm trying to keep on this here, but God is saying, you Josephs, when they see you come through this warfare, they're going to think that, and you get all this stuff, they're going to think it's not fair, they're going to think that they're owed because they ran in Pharaoh's camps and they built with the hay and the, and the bricks and they were making all these bricks and stuff and they were following what the Pharaohs told them to do, they were being this wage slave when God could have told them that season is up and now I want you to build your own business, but they didn't step out on faith, so they didn't go through the warfare. Anyway, so they're going to think it's not fair. They're going to think you were just home and um, not doing anything. And all of a sudden, now now look at you. Um, for they have toiled night and day in man's system, he said. But you toiled for me and my kingdom and never asked in return, never a pay, because it was from your heart. When God told you to go to the prostitute and tell her about God or to just be her friend, you didn't even tell her about God right away. You just started to be her friend. Can you just do that? Can you go to the people in the small place? God says, can you go to someone who needs me, who is outcast? Can you go to the rejected when I tell you? Can you go to the leader? When, don't go to someone you think is way too low for you. Can you go to also to the leader? Don't go to don't go to someone. Don't be afraid to go to someone who you think is. Oh, I gotta stand up because it's too crazy. <laughs> don't don't think that you can't go to these leaders. God will send you to leaders, and you'll think with a grasshopper mentality. Who am I to go to them? And you have to know. You have to go in the small place. You have to go deliver the message in a bigger place. And you, Joseph, you know this. You have to go when God tells you. You can't. You gotta go scared. You got. You just gotta go. You have to go. Wherever he says, we have to deliver the message because people are waiting on you. Prophets have an ability to speak a word and uproot and change a season and to speak things into existence. Even if God didn't tell them something, you, some, of, some of them are given a key so that they can say things and things change in people's lives instantly because they have, um, they have, God's power. They have they have God's anointing. Anyway, you have to go in these little places and also not be fearful to go to leaders and deliver messages because if you can go and do that and even if you can go to leaders and say things that are against what the big empire religious system, religious spirit junk, if you can go to leaders and say what God really wants you to say and say it and say it as bold as he wants you to say it or say it as as gentle and sweet as he wants you to say it, you just let him talk through you. If you can do that, God will send you to kings. I'm telling you, not only kings, don't think of men, think of queens. There's also there's kings and there's queens, there's and these people are leaders, these people are are people of influence, these people are people of position and wealth. If you can say everything that God wants you to say to the person on the street, if you could say everything God wants you to say to the leader that's at a church or to 
a owner of something else or to a, a start a person that's about to start up a business that's going to be huge, but they don't even realize where God's going to take them. And you could deliver that word, that God can take you anywhere, and He'll take you before stars, He'll take you before kings, and He'll bring the kings to you, and He'll bring the queens to you because you have a heart for the people. Because you didn't ask for money, you could go to anywhere. And you didn't ask for money. You didn't say, wait, I'm not going to tell you what God says because you didn't give me any money. You didn't sow into me. What you have to do is follow the heart of God. God doesn't need your money. And neither you don't need their money either. You need to follow his heart. If you can do that, then God can use you in great ways because you dare to say what he wants you to say. And even if you have to go against the grain, that's a test that God does on prophets. Can you say what I say? Can you go against the grain, and can you stand alone? That's the test that he has for us. If you can say everything that God wants you to say, oh, my God, you, then you care more about the creator than impressing creation. So that's, that's the stuff that matters. So you are Joseph. You're already knowing this stuff. If you're Joseph, you knew this already. I'm only telling you what you already knew. Uh, nothing new. Um, he says, you know, they're going to be so mad because a lot of these people that are going to watch you go up or increase, maybe not in a fame, but maybe um, you will have a, um, you'll just, you'll be blessed, though, so that you can be a blessing, you know, speaking our Christianese, blessed you can be a blessing. Um, you'll be put in a position of leverage so that you can make other people thank God, ultimately. Um, he says, uh, um, 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 he said, you toiled for me in my kingdom. You never never asked for return, never pay, never a pay because it was from your heart. Can you agree with me? Because it's true. No more lack and kingdom wealth is my gift and portion to you. Not only you, but a chosen few. Can you call my Josephs to adjust? Can you call my what seem to be peasants to adjust or dress themselves as wealthy and fine artists. So these people are going to come up like artists. I'm telling you, it could be secular, what we call secular. Oh, in the churches, they always put down secular, huh? Well, let me tell you, <laughs> um, God, everybody that's up, God allows for them to be up. And a lot of people that are stars and kings, and when I say up, I mean stars and whatever, um, God allows for them to be, and you'll be shocked how many know him. If you see in the Spirit, you'll see who is born again and who is not. A lot of times you can tell. Sometimes I can't tell because, um, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. But, um, you know, there's a correction on leadership because leadership really needs to stop attacking the stars, the wealthy. You know, these are the, you're supposed to be ready and in position understanding that Isaiah said these kings will come to you. So are you ready if they ever came to you? Are you ready? So shut your mouth. Talking against all the wealthy people and the stars and the celebrities, that really gets on my nerves. You know when a technon's talking in the church, which is a baby Christian, up, on a, up in the pulpit, because they are putting down what they shouldn't put down and lifting up what they shouldn't lift up, and that is flesh. That is just flesh. So don't get me started on that. I'm just going to have to forgive them constantly because um, I really um, I'm like a protector of the sheep so I don't like when people hinder them or anything like that but you know what they're God's sheep but I'm still like a mother you know like I I, I want to see people grow to the ultimate that they can ever go in God so um, he says to the Josephs call yourself a people to come to me and make the way plain to my presence I call and I will use you say not not worthy I hear your thoughts you will rise on eagles wings and fly above the troubles of above the troubles troubles by wealth cushion so you will fly high above the troubles by wealth cushion but I keep it in your hand now Joseph's come you have now stored up wisdom and now grain like wealth that cannot fade, fly away. The money won't fly away. Call it and adjust and let it come to those ready 
and chosen. Amen. So that's, I was trying to read the whole thing, uh, Joseph's endurance and how the Josephs that are in the body of Christ become enriched, sorry, enriched. And um, they have endured for a long time. And you know, if you are one of those, God bless you. My name is Anna Clark. You can find me on Facebook, Facebook dot com slash apostle Anna Clark. You can find a lot of prophetic words in my in my notes section. You can feel free to email me, ask for prayer. Um, I don't know if God would have me deliver a word to you, or or maybe I can pray for you. And um, so, all right. And I will be uploading more because that is my assignment right now because I have a lot of prophetic words. But if you can't wait and you want to read them and you just want to be confirmed or know what God's saying right now, um, go look at my notes section, www.facebook.com, Apostle Anna Clark. And I should have a link on my YouTube page here. Thank you, subscribers, for hanging around and hanging in there. I dare you to love God, love wisdom, and live in your purpose.